Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are going to react to some creepy videos. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And now, let's watch. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what no the? mames! I wonder if it was his friend or is just some stranger with a mask, a devil's mask, and out there in the dark. Jeez. Amigos, ¿cómo se vuelve esta mamá? He's just basically cursing in Spanish. Oh, if he shows up again, man, he better not. No me va a dejar. He's just saying he's not gonna leave me alone. He's saying he saw him. Who's out there with a devil's mask that they bought at Party City in the middle of the night, scaring people? You should be ashamed of yourself. Get a better mask. <laughs> Have you seen the TikTok about dreaming where you're supposed That's to ask my dream the to time and date this is dreams. what happened Well I did it last night and it was terrifying I literally wrote notes all about it I need to share it with you so you don't make the same mistake I did I was having like a really good dream it was peaceful it was fine I was hanging out with this girl I have no idea who she was and I just remembered in my head that TikTok I said do you know the date and time her whole mood completely changed. Her eyes got big and her smile dropped. Well, that's something. Never actually thought of asking a projection of my dream, something like that. Yeah, TikTok be coming up with everything. I don't know if I want to try that now. <laughs> the miner. Cave explorers in Nevada capture the apparition of a miner standing in the darkness of the mine. Is he caught in a residual loop? <laughs> Tell you something. Caves. Caves have a lot of freakish things. Yeah, I don't know if you guys seen all those movies about caves. Something usually doesn't end up right with those things. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if people keep catching supernatural things in caves. That's the movie I remember, The Descent. If your dog refuses to go any further, it might be trying to warn you of something evil lurking nearby. Here's why. A man named Steve and his dog go yeah, hiking believe on this same trail every day. But one day he noticed his dog started acting unusually strange, refusing to go any further. My you dog senses dog, something I can't see on a hiking trail we do every day. My you don't want to go? Up and a sound Come on. Hears, but it does not hear. Strange sound, nothing dropped to the ground. I would have heard it. What do you see, Coda? Coda, you want to go? Come on. There's a predator so nearby. Weird. He tries hard to encourage his dog to continue walking, realizing this behavior is extremely out of character. He believes the dog was protecting him from something lurking up ahead. Coda does not want to go any farther. That's really weird. Yeah, you got to understand that animals such as dogs, they have a sixth sense that we humans just aren't in tune or familiar with, with anything like that in that realm, unless you unlock your inner chakra. But yeah, when uh when an animal starts acting up weird and stuff like that, there's usually a predator or some kind of danger. Dogs have a really good sense about that. That's why they call him man's best friend. This is not the first time Here's I was dragged from, from the, the neck by this thing. But what happened? today has me questioning my resolve to continue working here. Ah. 
What was that weird ah, shadow shit. thing? There's like a voice thing too. Or is that the song? Whoa, what the? Wait, what? Is he? Whoa. At first, I thought he was using some kind of selfie stick to pull off that, but whoa. <laughs> that proved me wrong. And if that's real, that's some legit supernatural proof right there. But if it wasn't, that was well done. It got me. Okay, watch this, y'all. This man. He called his boss, asking him, why didn't y'all tell me they had a new employee, right? He constantly looking back, right? He's talking to somebody, right? Just watch. This is creepy. Look, he's having a kind of whole conversation with somebody, right? Saying that somebody came and he dapping that person off and everything. Now, see, look, y'all see when he dapped them off. Look what happened. He dapped them off. You see that shadow? And then the shadow goes over here, and he pulling the chair out for him. He swear, he swear to God, he sat there and had a whole conversation with this person. He moved over, talking to him and everything. Y'all better protect yourselves. Whatever that was, took advantage of him. That was not Casper the Friendly Ghost. Proof seems otherwise. I mean, he didn't drag him like the other guy in the other video. Albex Hill was exploring tunnels deep within the forest when this was captured. Man, tunnels be like caves. You never know what you're gonna find inside of them. I'm glad he has a torch lamp. Can you imagine going in there with nothing? He knows he's been walking for a while and hearing strange noises when this happens. Hmm. Oh. What is that? Jeez. That's creepy. I think there's like two of them too. Definitely two pairs of eyes. If I was to go exploring in a tunnel by myself, man, I better be packing a lot of reinforcement and a lot of protection. Yeah, I wonder what those pairs of eyes were. If anybody has any guesses, drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Ahmed Sakim, Jeez. Was that a ram? I mean, the only thing that you can depict on that that would be resembling to rotating UAP triangle. More UFO UAP right? madness in the UK in yesterday. Or... Yeah, you see the one right ahead of it? It's like rotating. They're always in triangles. Neat. Triangles or shapes? Yeah, they always seem to orbit in shapes, especially triangles, um, half circles. Time will tell what there are. Time will tell. Listen up, y'all. There are beings that is walking this earth and they are not human. 
I just came from Kroger's. I just got out for work. I went to go pick up a few items, y'all. I go to the bread aisle. Now, the bread aisle is super long. I'm at one end of the bread aisle. There's a guy that's about three-fourths of the way down in the bread aisle. He got a cart. I got a cart. He's looking at me. And you know how you can see out your peripheral that somebody's staring at you. He ain't just looking, but he's staring at me. I kind of look his way. He's still staring. I go ahead and I get my bread. I go back around the other way because I'm going to the international aisle to get some pasta and some other stuff. While I'm in the international aisle at one end, this guy comes around and he's at the top of the same aisle. I see him still looking at me. Now, mind you, there's a couple of things that I need to get out of that aisle. So the first part of the aisle, I grab what I need to grab and I go about midways down. He's at the other end. So he's staring at me still. So I kind of look at him and I go like, how do you give somebody that type of look? He's still staring. So I'm looking for what I'm looking for. That's weird. I can't really find it because he's throwing me off because he keeps staring. Mind you, this man don't have nothing in his car. He's not even turned to look at any food. He's looking directly at me. By this time, I'm like, you know what? I'm not on it. I'm about to just stare you down. So I turn to look at him. Y'all, when I tell you, this man stared at me and his eyes turned black. Everything in his his whole eyeball, not just the pupil, but the white part turned completely black. That's a demon. He looked, it said black, and then he walked away. When I tell you I left that car sitting in that aisle, oh. I didn't even buy nothing from Kroger's. I left out and I came home. There is stuff. There is beings that is walking in this earth and they at the store. They at whatever. They look like us and everything else, but they are not human. I don't even know what to say. That was a demon. Full-fledged demon out in the open. I wonder why I was staring at her only. Maybe it sensed that she saw through him. Camina, pequeño, camina. Esa, camina, camina, camina. Ahora vas a, a saltar. Salta, como te gusta a ti saltar. Muestra a la gente cómo salta. Oh, miren, miren, miren. Pasito para abajo. Wow. Ya ven, primero baja un escaloncito, después el otro. A ver, sube el piecito pequeño. Allá. Quiero que vayas para allá. Y otra vez nos muestres a todos cómo lo haces. That's a freakish doll. That was a freakish doll. That thing reminded me of a duende. Uh, they're kind of like Mexican folklore leprechauns or little creatures. But other than that, that was a very... Very disturbing doll. Amor bello! Amor! Amor! Oh yeah, that, that lady had a creepy face. It's a mask for sure. That's weird. This looks like from a video game for sure. Oh, it's a movie set. Oh yeah, this was... Uh, that was a trip. What the heck? Even Putin was like... And had to turn around. He was like, "Hey, keep it on the DL. <laughs> stop, stop showing all of our secrets." 
This is a real video, and many people are terrified as these extraterrestrial beings are coming out of hiding, monitoring us, and making themselves known that they are here. Citizens were terrified when recent footage came out of a jellyfish-like UFO that had been surveilling military bases and our weapons at night, with military personnel verifying that the creature had long, stiff tentacles that appeared to have armor on it and geometric scales, seemingly ready to attack. When military soldiers were told to go outside and find it with night vision goggles, they reported the UFO having the ability to go invisible in front of humans. The only thing that was able to see it was a thermal camera, but the temperature of the creature changed from cold to hot rapidly, making it super difficult to even see on the thermal camera. Experts say nothing on Earth can do anything even near this. Many claim the image we see is just a booger or bird poop on the lens, but others say it's moving in and out from the center of the footage and also has been seen shrinking as it moves further from the camera, proving it's real, while other skeptics say it's CGI. But what do you think? Drop it in the comments. I'm saying it's either government or it's just beings that, you know, we don't have this kind of access to technology that come from way, way out there. And you think that with all of our technology that we are able to track them down or anything like that? Man, it took luck. If it wasn't for my thermal cam, I wouldn't have caught that footage. Passing through, this is the moment a patient was filming at this hospital room. This camera picked up something that was in a hurry. Maybe a former patient had passed away at a spirit dashing through a dimension. Maybe a time traveler. I don't know. Maybe the person wasn't aware of that. Hmm. Uh. I feel that that person who was recording was way too calm. To see something pass that quick. Yeah, I don't know about that. Usually when you catch something passing by or something just jump scares you, you drop your phone or you shake it. I didn't see none of that. So that tells me two things. This person wasn't aware at the time of what they were recording or they were just in disbelief and they were frozen. But at the same time, they were moving their phone. So yeah, they weren't unaware of what was happening at the time. Now, this next video is pretty short, but it's still nonetheless pretty creepy. It was submitted to me by a viewer who found the video on Instagram. The original source is unknown, but despite lacking any context, the video speaks for itself. A mother is alone at home with her two children when strange things start happening. Now the person who sent this further adds that the mother had been experiencing paranormal occurrences at home ever since moving in. This video is just one of many of those occurrences. It's late at night when the following happens. Watch. And it's just, it's just us here, and he was at work while we were making chairs out there. And I see him. Ready? Whoa. Now, right when the video starts, it's immediately evident that the children are distressed. Something is upsetting them, and we don't know what it is until moments later. The mother walks out cautiously from the safety of her room when a chair abruptly slides over. I didn't see the chair sliding. I saw actual like feet or some kind of form take shape, but in that playback that I just saw, yeah, that was a sliding chair that caught me way off guard. Is that they recently started live streaming, and on the live stream, we see a person going down what appears to be a never-ending staircase with all the lights flickering on their own. And it seems like a bad scene from a horror movie.
the person can be seen going down the staircase for a long period of time without getting any closer to the bottom. Must be a and really sometimes tall things change. Building. And at one point, the staircase even swaps to the left side. During one part of the live stream, a man wearing an all black cloak can be seen just slowly walking down the stairs as if chasing after the man recording. Jeez. This better be a, a scene from a horror movie. This is like something from Silent Hill. Where's Pyramid Head at? Some viewers have said it looks like a simulation. Yeah. But this was dismissed after seeing his body and legs in the footage, as well as a bit of talking. Some people suggested that it could be a loop, but the footage changes and different things happen ever so often, so it's hard to say. But it does resemble the game SCP-087, which is about a creepy dark staircase that seems never-ending. So what do you think is going on here? Is this a real creepy phenomenon? Or is this just some very good looping? Let me know what you think. I don't know if that's legit or not. If it's not legit, that was well done. If it is legit, that sucks for that person. Let's hope they got away. What do we know? You don't know, but if something happens, we don't have any explanation for it. You need to explain that? That's why I'm really tired. Yeah, exactly. This is the 15th freaking night in a row. I think you're exaggerating. Look, it's a basement. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Yeah, that happens. What the fuck? Okay, you need to go. 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 Go oh, where? Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Go. Go upstairs. 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 Let's go. Go. Wow, I thought it was just something that fell over. That proved me wrong. My brother got teleported or something. He got abducted in real time. <laughs> I was going to say, that's one way to get to your destination quick. <laughs> Dude, I hate working night shift. They got me cleaning up all this broken glass. Dude. I would hate to be a mall security cop. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. Boss! So I just walked into the mm -mm. dental school. Uh, do the dental check. Weird. And I walked in and there's nobody in. No wind. Nobody here. And those things are just swinging. Yeah. Let's 
no wind. There's no, uh, you, know, you can see there's no. Man, I'm gonna tell you guys about some experiences when I used to work the night shift. I would hear stuff like this. I would see moving furniture or fixtures just moving by themselves, uh, doors closing or slamming. I just know I, I, I resonate with these people who recorded things like this. So some of these things you can't explain. And I'm really glad I don't work the night shift anymore. And it says a woman of three meters height with a black cloak crying at three in the morning in Awachapan. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or I'm just butchering it. That's like the Yorona right there. The Yorona is a Mexican folklore tale about a woman who killed her kids in a river and then she regretted it and I think she also killed herself, I'm pretty sure. And now she has all that regret and torments um torments other people in her regret. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's the way I've been I've been taught as the story goes. The last photo that I took and I captured something paranormal. I had my mouth gasping. I couldn't believe what I just saw. That door was walking. Insane. Well, guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching these videos with me and hanging out. What were your guys' thoughts on these videos? Let me know in the comments. Again, thank you so much. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Peace. Hey guys, if you like this type of content, make sure to check out these videos. See ya.